Hi, everyone. Um, I'm doing kind of a little lesson for some of the kids. Um, older kids can get into this as well, but it deals with blessings and the idea of count your blessings. Um, a lot of times we struggle, especially right now with all the craziness going on, with realizing that we're still safe, we're still okay, and different things. So I thought this would be something to kind of share with that idea, okay? It's one of my favorites, okay? Count your blessings. So if you look, you can see 10 little stars up here, okay? And they're all shiny. It says, the blessings you give me are like the stars in the sky. I couldn't count them all, hard as I try. So tonight, as I stargaze, I'll list just these 10. For starters, thanks, Lord, for my new whiskered friend. So you can see his new whiskered friend there, okay. You make the stars twinkle. I love how they shine. As I lie here and look up, I see there are nine. The next thing that makes me feel really blessed is my family. And my sister is really the best. So guys, how many of you can say that about a brother or sister being really the best? Okay, and they're riding their bike there, okay. See the next page. All right. You make summer nights. That's when I stay up late. I see stars from my swing. Look right now, there are eight. I know, Lord, you bless me with food that's nutritious. And the cherry pie mom makes taste oh so delicious. Oh. So look at him eating that cherry pie. So what is your favorite pie, okay? You sprinkle the stars here and there around heaven. Looking up now, I see exactly seven. The blessing I'm thinking of now is Grand Bear. She's never too busy for the zoo or the fair. So think about your grandmas and your grandpas, your adopted grandma and grandpas maybe, that are family members. And think about all the fun times you have with them, okay? Next, you make the stars different. We can all have our pick. It seems like there are zillions. Right now, I count six. The next blessing I see in my mind makes me smile. Thanks, Lord, for my good friends, Desmond and Kyle. So think about your good friends and that fun times you have with them, okay? You make the stars glow. It's as if they're alive, see? There's one shining now in that group of just five. You have blessed my whole family with a gift like a no other. He is small and so cute. He is my new baby brother. Ooh, now I don't know how many of you have new baby brothers or sisters or maybe baby cousins or family friends that maybe have new babies in their family. All right. You even make stars for the deep ocean floor. They're as lovely as those in the sky. Like these, those four, for fish in the oceans and dolphins that play, I feel very blessed, Lord, and thank you today. So you can see in the picture here, the dolphins, the fish, the jellyfish, but the starfish, okay? So that, have you ever been to the beach? Think of all the fun and the blessings of spending time with family. You make the stars dazzle. They're winking at me. Wink, wink. From my window, I count them. See, there are just three. Who is blessed with a dad who is hard to compare? Yes, me, Lord. And whenever I need him, he's there. So think about dad, grandpa, maybe a family friend that has been there for you, okay? Or the dad of a family friend or a coach, okay? Next, everything's pretty when your stars are in view. And this very minute up above, there are two. Just looking at fruit trees from my windowsill makes me feel blessed to live in this house on this hill. Oh, so think about your house and having a nice warm house to live in. Um, 
you know, a nice bed to sleep in, all the cozy stuffed animals or toys maybe, okay? God, I must go to bed now, but it's been lots of fun. Of all my blessings, your love's the best one. Oh, and God, thanks so much for the stars sparkling bright, for keeping me safe as I sleep through the night. So he says, thank you, God, for your love. So think of the love that Jesus has for you, okay? All right, and I started to do lots of research on the word blessing in the Bible, and there's lots of verses. In Psalm 33, 12, it says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. And that's one I've heard a lot recently. Another one that comes up at Mother's Day has to do with um, being blessed. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. And that's from Proverbs 31, 28. And then if you've ever heard of what's called the Beatitudes, they're in Matthew uh, chapter 5. And this is God's, uh, Jesus speaking. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who, who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you, falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So, guys, as you think about this coming week, think about your blessings. There's a lot of different activities that you can do. I'm going to put some on um, the website. But you can do a blessing jar where you put right down things that you're thankful for and put them in there. And then when you're having a bad day, you can pull them out. Um, you can even decorate the jars. Uh, you can do handprints and write blessings in the handprints or footprints. I've also done it where I've taken and drawn like a stem and put the handprints up as a flower and do it kind of like that. Uh, you can also just draw pictures of things or color pictures of things that are blessings. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can write a letter to somebody uh, that you want to thank because they've been there for you or you can give them a phone call. Those are all different activities that you can do and I'm going to try and post some on the website with the video and the activity. Have a great evening.